Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on viruses. The objectives for this lesson are number one, what are viruses? Number two, how do viruses reproduce and spread? Number three, how are viruses classified? So let's start by talking about what a virus is. Well, a virus is actually a very complex molecule. Um, it's made of proteins, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, which are just uh, basically the genetic material. that it can pass uh, to its host cell to make more viruses. And lipids, lipids, um, proteins, and carbohydrates are found in pretty much all organisms. Um, and specifically, they're found especially in the cell membrane when we're talking about cells. But viruses have them too. Now, there are certain uh, specific types of viruses. I'm sure you've heard of viruses that may cause the common cold or flu, uh, but there's, there's tons of different types of viruses. And then there's a, a group of viruses that we call the bacteriophages. And these are actually viruses that specifically attack or uh, infect bacterial cells. Here is a picture of a bacteriophage. And it has an interesting structure. Looks almost like it's got the, the shape of a stop sign on its head or just a geometric shape that looks really interesting. And it's got this tail. Um, and actually, um, the basic structure of all viruses is that they all have what we call a protein coat. And that protein coat covers and protects what's inside, which is the nucleic acid core. And the nucleic acid core, again, stores the genetic information that codes for that specific type of virus. And the genetic information is uh, found on DNA or RNA. So you have viruses that either have DNA inside their core or RNA inside their co core. Now here are uh, examples of specific viruses. We have the tobacco mosaic virus. And again, its uh, protein coat is covering the nucleic acid that's inside. And this is an interesting uh, looking protein coat. It's actually, like I said, viruses can be very complex in structure. Um, again, that protein coat serves as a protection for, uh, for that nucleic acid that's inside of it. Here are just some other examples of the, the shapes and structures of other types of uh, viruses. This is, again, the tobacco mosaic virus. Um, but then you've got this odd-shaped virus, um, and it's called an adenovirus. Um, and then we have something here that looks kind of like it's a circle, but then it's got these kind of like these outer um, antenna looking structures. And that's actually the influenza virus. That's the virus that causes um, the flu. And then we have, again, the bacteriophage, which is kind of cool. It looks to me almost like a mini robot or, or kind of like just a, something that you may find an engineer has formed or made. Um, so these are all different types of viruses, and we'll continue to talk about those. Um, so let's first, again, talk about uh, what are viruses and how are they classified. Well, again, viruses have that nucleic acid inside their protein coat, and the nucleic acid can either be DNA or RNA. So that's how we classify viruses. Are they DNA viruses or are they RNA viruses? Well, there are some similarities to these types of viruses, and then there's some differences. Uh, the similarity is that inside of that protein coat, both the DNA and the RNA viruses can be single-stranded or double-stranded, meaning inside you have that DNA, and you could, DNA is double-stranded, um, and then the RNA is single-stranded, and both of them share that characteristic, um, but they could either be, again, the RNA could be single or double, and the DNA could be single or double. Um, the DNA viruses mutate very slowly, very slowly. However, the RNA viruses, they mutate very rapidly. 
Uh, the DNA viruses are very stable viruses. Um, they last longer. And the RNA viruses are very unstable. Um, an example of a DNA virus would be uh, the virus that causes smallpox in humans. And this is actually in a picture of a person that has um, the symptoms of smallpox on their hands. It's these, um, basically these bumps here that you see on their hands. And then uh, hepatitis B is also caused by a DNA virus. Then we have the RNA viruses. Uh, such as HIV and rhinovirus. Here's a picture actually of the HIV virus taken by, this picture is taken by an electron microscope, so you can see all the details and you can see that this virus has attached to this mass or this cell right here um, because it wants to infect that cell and take it over. Here's a picture of the hepatitis B virus. Um, and again, it's actually on cells underneath that are colored, you know, the pink is representative of the cells and the hepatitis B is represented by the blue color.